Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. If you did not see our last series, go watch it. It is the B1B Lancer by Ravel. Big model, 148 scale. Watch it. Great to see that video and everything about that model. So that brings us right here, as promised, the F4C Phantom by Ravel. It's a 148 scale. We're going to do a box break. I got this one off of the auction sites. So it is open, but that's okay. Everything is inside of it still. And that is all that counts. If you'd like to know a little bit more about this plane, just flip the box over right here tells you everything you want to know. I'm not going to go over that because it might bore you. If you do want me to start going over that again, let me know and I'll be more than happy to do it. So, push our glasses up because they're falling off my face, which I can't stand. It's got all these colors on here. Aluminum, dark gray, gray, green, international orange, light gray, medium green, olive green, and red. That's on one side. You gotta flip to the other side to see some more colors over here. Semi-gloss black, silver, steel, tan, titanium, white, and yellow. Believe it or not, this is the third time I'm actually doing this model. I did one for me, did one for my boss a long time ago. I'm going to do one more for you. Maybe I'll give it away afterwards. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Got some lovely pictures. There's one on the side. More right here. You know, the typical skill level stuff that it always comes with. Let's see what that says. Not, you know, not skill level stuff at all. That just tells you it's made in China. What a surprise. There we go. Skill level two. Always good to find these things, huh? So, let's open up this box and we're going to see what's inside. And here it is. Got a little tape right here. Just kind of pull up a little bit. There we go. That's all off. So, as you can see, right off the bat, at least for me, we have our decals right here and our instructions. So we'll put these off to the side. Let's see what we have for parts. Basically got one bag right here. Contains the main fuselage as well as the missiles. We also have the tail stabilizers and the rear engines. So that's a good thing as well. It does have a little bit of uh, pylons on there for the missiles and an ECM pod which looks like a drop tank. So main fuselage and that bag. Here we've got our clear little plastic parts. Got to be careful not to lose those. We've got the main windshield, the front and rear canopy, and of course the middle of that, which is right here. That's also for that part of the model on the top of it. Right here, we have the bottom half of the wings, as well as each wing half that goes on there. Not to mention the air intakes, some of the Sidewinder missiles, the wheels, two pilots and the cockpit. So let's open these up and we'll show you in detail, shall we? Starting off right here, we've got our cockpit, which is right here, followed by our wheels, you know, our front landing gear. Right here, we have our two sides that go on for the air intakes, which are right up on the front of the plane. Got some more stuff right here. Got some little accessories that go on the underside, shall you choose to put those on. Our two pilots right here, rear landing gear, ejection handles, of course. Don't know what these are. These right here go on the side of the aircraft, right on the nose, right up front. I already mentioned our landing gear right there, and of course, our wheels and our tail hook. Good stuff. Got to be careful with how some of those work. Right here, this is kind of broken off. So these are the Sidewinder missiles. As you can see, you've got four of those. Right here are the top of the wings. Both of them right and left. Got some drop tanks right here. The insides of the air intake, these go closest to the plane. And right here we got some missile rails. Finally, we have the main body right here. 
This is the bottom half of that, so the wings will go on top of that. We've got our two pieces of rear landing gear right here. The uh, Actually, I should say the door wells, the doors right here for the landing gear. Some more Sidewinder missiles. Depends on which version you want to do and how old you want the plane to look. More landing gear doors right here. We've got our little control panel for the cockpit and our seats. So on the other bag, we've got right here, got to be careful, you see this already got bent, which is the uh, antennas that go right on top of the tail fin, which you see here. We'll have to fix that somewhere, somehow. Hopefully we don't break it because it's already out of the bag and already looks kind of icky, which hey, you know, stuff happens sometimes. But either way, we've got some missiles right here. Those are the sparrows and more landing gear doors. This is the other half of the fuselage and more Sparrow missiles. Notice they are missing the top pieces of them. That way they fit basically flush with the underside of the plane. Right here we have some flaps. What these are for, they just go on the underside of the plane for the wings. This final bag right here comes with the tail stabilizers. Got our engines right here, the out portion of the engines they just kind of slide on in got right here these are the missile rails all right here this is an antenna that goes on the airplane you know some stuff for the cockpit like this right here a couple of other gadgets on here you know how that goes and this little tank right here that goes on the other side some armament so you got a decent amount of armament on this plane that's always a plus as I stated just need to watch out for that small little piece that's on the tail because that is likely to break off. Not going to be pleasant putting that back on. One last bag, which is right here. Take that out and you can see right here we've got our canopies. This is the front glass. Got right here. These two are the middle and the rear, I should say the front canopy and the rear canopy, as well as this piece right here which goes right in the middle of those. It's not on the model so you got to stick that on, paint it, blah blah blah, mask it off as well. A little bit difficult from what I remember but not hard to do. And of course as I showed you before, the decals for this plane. Stick those right here. Let's take a look at the instructions which we've got right here. All sorts of good stuff, which you know, always tells you about the plane right here. We are going to open this up to the second page. Right here. Page number two. More good stuff. This contains all of your paint colors all the way down the side. There are a lot of them. We read them off to you once, so don't make me do it again. But just just for you, I will. We have as follows. A will be aluminum. B is a dark gray. C is a dark green. D is a gray color. E is green. F is international orange. G, light gray. H is a medium green. I is an olive green. L is red, K is a semi-gloss black, L is silver, M is steel, N is tan, O is titanium, which goes on the back stabilizers and a little bit by the engines, P is white, probably for the landing gear, of course, so you know you can see what kind of stuff leaks out on a real plane. And O is yellow. So that's all for the colors. You know, it tells you down here. Washer parts, all that good stuff. Of course, everything right here tells you how to apply the decals. And over here is all the symbols. So let's go right over here. We have page three. Page three are all the parts, one through 42. So we have right here on page four is all the parts, number 43 through 87. So just give that a glance over as well. We'll come over here to page five, which starts with the model and step one.
step one is fairly simple. It's assembling of your two pilots, goes over putting the ejection seats together, you know, all that good stuff. And it goes over the cockpit, you know, the main little bit of the cockpit, putting that all together and all the paint colors you have to do for that. Page six is step two. Step two includes putting the main fuselage together along with the cockpit inside of that. Right here, you have to put the wings on top of the bottom of the airplane. Remember we showed you that piece earlier. And as well as part of the intake. So it gets a little tricky there. And right here, you're putting that onto the airplane. On page seven, we have step three. Fun stuff right here. On this section, you will be putting on the rear stabilizers. You know, the back fins go up and down. Right over here, it shows what it looks like from the rear, so you see what they look like when they're in place. Gets a little tricky right here. This is when you put on the intakes. Problem is, there's not enough room to paint in between the intake flaps, that whatever those things are, and the model. So you're going to have to pre-paint that area, then put those on. So you gotta pay attention to the back portion on the page to find out which color you wanna do based on the color scheme, because they are a little bit different. Right over here, we have to assemble the landing gear for the front. Now right here is the actual front landing gear with the wheels and all that good stuff. Page eight is step four. Now everything we have is all right here for assembling the rear landing gear with the wheels and as well the doors. So that takes care of that right over here. Page nine is step five. All step five is fairly simple. Putting the flaps in that go on the wings and of course, putting the engines inside of the plane, gotta watch the color on how to do that. You might wanna do that first, might wanna do that last. Whatever you prefer, your model, you do it your way. Well, page 10 is the good stuff. You've got two steps, surprising. Step six and step seven. All this covers is assembling the gun, which is right here, and then putting on some sparrow missiles, which go right on the bottom of the plane. So you may wanna paint those first before doing that. And then, you know, just some more goodies right here, some ECM pods and some other pods that they include in this model. A lot of, there's a lot of armament in this plane and it really makes the plane stand out. So put it all on there, have fun with this one. Page 11 has everything for step eight. What that includes, basically putting on more armament, sidewinder, sparrows, some go up front, so go up back, putting on missile rails, painting schemes, all that good stuff. Page 12 has step nine, fairly simple, you're assembling some wing tanks, and of course, putting on the final touches, putting on the two canopies and the front glass. You can make them go up, or you can make them go down. Maybe I might make mine go down this time. It's a lot easier masking since I've done everything with them up. So hey, change is good, right? Page 13, step 12, has one paint scheme on there. That should be fun. Page 14, has step 11, which is another paint scheme, as you can see. And then we have over here, page 15 is step 12, which has a lot of common markings. Page 16 has step 13, with a lot more common markings. And of course, right here, more paint colors, you know, just basically a little grid, little display, whatever you wanna call it, that tells you how to paint your model. So a lot of things to do on this. Decals, plenty of those. Going to spend a lot of time putting on small little no steps because, well, as the decals go, it has like 148 of them that are numbered. That doesn't include all the ones that are doubled. So, um, yeah, you're going to spend some time doing those, okay? So, you know how this works. Wash your parts, you're gonna see that right here on the upcoming video, cause you gotta wash them. Even though people don't like to, it makes for better glue adhesion, it makes for painting some of the stuff a little bit easier as well. Remember, do it as you want, you'll figure out what works and what doesn't work. So, subscribe, that way you see the next video in two weeks. Don't forget to comment, cause I love the comments. And of course, give me some likes. Till next time, see ya!